the ships overseas, and all the internets around the universe. Hot off the press. We are starting with news that um, we've been waiting for for a very, very long time, some of us. Uh, we'll see if we get, if they mention here um, how long we've been waiting. Nope, I'm going to start hiccuping. That's great. Eight years, three months, two days, no, even longer. Probably. Uh, we finally have a trailer for James Cameron's Battle Angel Alita. This, for those not familiar, is a, yeah, I'm going to be hiccuping, is a manga from the 90s. I believe. Okay, it is 90. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, battle. Uh, Alita Battle Angel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't need a shower. <laughs> Doesn't help. Okay. So, James Cameron licensed Battle Angel Alita before Avatar came out. That was going to be his next thing, and then he made Avatar. So, they're finally working on He's actually not directing it. Robert Rodriguez is directing it. Director of El Mariachi and Desperado. Ooh, those were good. Yeah. So, interesting to see where that's taking. It is a highly, highly CGI movie. Um, Alita, Alita is, um, yeah, sorry, um, they renamed some of the characters and I, I keep getting them mixed up, um, is almost all CGI, I think. It was uncanny though. Mm. It was, it was, it was, it's realism was uncanny. Yeah. I yeah. mean, they, they talk about the uncanny cliff, but this was just so realistic looking. Yeah. Scene. But you could tell it was still... And what's weird is she has big eyes. Yeah. Like, big eyes. Like, like physically... Big. Oversized eyes. eyes. Yeah. Like anime eyes. It, it, it is very similar I mean, to what she looks like in the manga, that's in the anime. Um, but it is a little off-putting. Um, on a normally proportioned, you know, realistic looking character. So yeah. we'll have to see how it, you know, how it works it. The movie. If, if 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 the vast population feels that this was too much over the uncanny mm, valley, valley. Yep. yes, <laughs> we'll see. But there's now a trailer you can go and watch, and you can decide for yourself. Judge for yourself. Uh, Christoph Waltz is playing Doctor Ito. Um, Jackie Earl Haley is playing the big bad of the um, of the original um, uh, early story. Um, so, um, yeah, quite a few uh, interesting characters uh, and uh, yeah, actors. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of different uh, actors there. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Should be certainly interesting. Um, moving on to um, news about some um, manga from Jiro Taniguchi, a manga artist who sadly passed away uh, earlier this year, February 11th. Mm. Uh, he was working on two manga projects which have since been published. So, Konen no Mori, story of a boy who goes into adulthood while interacting with a forest. Interesting. That sounds fun. Um, which is in full color. Wow, that's a lot of work. Yeah, and landscape. Very interesting. Um, along with some messages from fellow manga creators. So, uh, that is pretty darn cool. Um, and they basically included everything that he finished. So, no nobody came back in and finished the, the, the manga. Because <laughs> it's just what he did. He leaves off where he left off. Yep, it leaves off where he left off. Including unfinished pages. Which is wow. pretty interesting, yeah. So, good to see that kind of yeah. stuff happening. Um, so, there's going to be a live-action Pokemon movie. Live-action Pokemon? Uh -huh. Who could possibly play Pikachu? I mean, who could... Who? I mean, it's just... Who well, would? Either Morgan Freeman... Yeah. ...or Ryan Reynolds, Deadpool. And fortunately, they chose Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> so, yeah, Deadpool is playing Pikachu... <laughs> Deadpool is Pikachu. Um, specifically, Detective Pikachu, um, which is the title of the film, um, and uh, it's going to be interesting. Uh, it's it's very odd. Um, they described his character as a peculiar sort from the Pikachu set, a self-styled investigator who's good at finding things. <laughs> there will be mocap, so I'm I suspect this will be a Pikachu. In a live action movie, like a CGI Pikachu, in a live action movie. Now I can see it a little easier. I can, I can yeah, see it a I little easier. I can see him doing. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing. What does Pikachu say? Pika, Pika, mm -hmm. Pika. I choose you. <gasps> ah! <laughs> That's gonna be Ryan Reynolds saying Pika, Pika, Pikachu for ninety minutes. <laughs> Which honestly, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm signed up. I'm up for that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you, Japan. <laughs> um, moving on, um, this is an interesting one. 
several uh, two men were arrested back in October for uploading manga online illegally. Mm. Uh, one would upload it, and the other would um, um, let's see. Um, one one would scan it and upload it. A scan to later. And the up, uh, the other one would actually publish it on the site. So they they were kind of separated, you know. Um, uh, distribution mm-hmm. of the neighbors of... And this was a, a significant Trouble. deal because this kind of stuff, um, that, it's often hard to find and prosecute. Were, were they doing this before it was released? Um, they were doing it like as it was released. As so, it was, so people would pay for it because, of, hey, mm-hmm. first uh, zero day release. And yeah. it was a, an advertising supported site and they were making money off. It was a direct, like, it wasn't just, you know, scantillations for free. It's bad to scantillate, but charging people when you're not giving anything to the creator? Making money not, off of it is well, that's not a very good. different thing. Yeah. So, um, they have gone to trial, excuse me, um, at least 13 different magazines were involved. Oh, they they wow. were scanning 13 different magazines here. An equal opportunity piece. <laughs> exactly. Um, and um, so we'll see where that goes. But uh, certainly... Significant news for scanlation efforts. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Moving on. Uh, yeah. And Omega has announced they're going to try to crowdfund a Blu-ray disc of Gunsmith Cats. Oh, wow. Which is pretty cool. Um, uh, the uh, anime came out in 1995 and 96. And then came out on... Here's a, here's a remarkable thing. <coughs> ADB released the anime on VHS the same year. It came out. That's pretty impressive. Wow. On DVD in 2001. But ADV, uh, they're not around anymore, are they? Well, um, uh, there is, I forget, who, is, it, is that Sentai Filmworks? I think Sentai Filmworks. It, Absorbed yeah, ADV. They, they're, 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 yeah, ADV fell apart, and then Sentai Filmworks sort of... Swooped. Yeah, yeah well, the, the, uh, I think Sentai Filmworks basically was the staff of ADV. Just started up a new company, if I recall wow. correctly. Cool. Um, anyway, so that's going to be interesting. Um, Kickstarter ventures have been increasingly su- successful. Uh, right Stuff has done several successful recent Kickstarters of these types of things. They're talking to a video, things Ooh. like that. So that's Bubble cool. Crisis? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, they, they funded uh, Bubblegum Crisis in 2013. And, oh, that was, it was Anime I'm sorry, in both Animega. cases. Yeah. Uh, Bubblegum Crisis and a talking to a video. So here's hoping that will do well. Um, yeah. The advantage of Gunsmith Crisis, uh, Gunsmith Cats, excuse me, mm-hmm. is it, it is a... Um, Self-contained OVA, hmm. so it's you know it, it'll be a single disc. You know you're hmm. not you don't have to do a huge amount to do that. Plus, Kenichi Sonoda, who made Gunsmith Cats, worked on a talk video. Uh, so they so you with, know the good quality yeah, is. And what well, they worked with him on that Blu-ray Kickstarter. He like wow. drew special stuff for the Kickstarter backers and stuff like yeah, really. That cool. is nice. Um, so you, you got some really neat stuff with that Kickstarter. So. That might have been involved I've got to in this sponsor some saying. of these Kickstarter yeah, things. Yeah, that sounds That's like some fun. really neat stuff. Um, so here's hoping that will do well. Um, it has not launched yet, but uh, hopefully it will launch in February. Hmm. Finally, moving on to the odd story of the week. Hmm. Um, you heard the phrase "cosplay is not consent." Yeah. yeah. Did you know that is a trademark phrase? I did not know that. Yes. So trademark. I'm not going to be able to say this without laughing. The CEO of the website Cosplay Deviants. Uh, sorry. Uh, so it is basically a a cosplay website where the the actors are in and out of cosplay in, during their photo shoots. Um, out of cosplay in regular outfits. No, 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 no. In, 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 in no outfits in suits. whatsoever. Birthday no. suits. Birthday suits. Exactly. Oh my. Um, anyway. <laughs> The site's been around for quite a few years now, um, in internet uh, years, but basically the owner of that, Troy uh, Dorner, trademarked the phrase back in November 22nd of 2016, and he says basically he did that because he'd heard that somebody else was going to trademark it and copyright it and and do something um, along those lines, and he said basically he wanted to make sure nobody else got it and did something weird with it. So he was just, he was basically just reserving it in case. Uh, I'm Microsoft, I'm going to reserve all Apple websites. Uh, uh, <laughs> but uh, this past week, he announced that he is not maintaining the trademark on that phrase. And he's actually, he's surrendered the trademark. 
Wow. Um, so is, is he surrendering it back to the wild or to some other party? Uh, potentially to, uh, uh, supposedly to the wild. Hmm. So anyone can use the phrase. And he said basically one of the reasons is he wanted to start a website called Cosmos, like I said, and he registered the domain as well. Hmm. Because um, he wanted to start a conversation and have this be a, yeah. a conversation start. It definitely is. Absolutely. I mean, the problem is that everyone talked about him and his website uh, and not Cosmos. He, and not he didn't get the right conversation he was looking for. Right. So. Although that must be good for people visiting his site. Yeah. So, <laughs> the, the, you know, the good news is it's now available for anyone to use. The, and to be clear, mm -hmm. there's no indication that he ever went after anyone, that he ever, you know, defended the trademark, if you will. This is just one of those things where, you know, he's like, you know what, just so we're clear, <laughs> anyone can use the phrase, we're fine, that no lawyers will ever get involved. Well, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. So, wow. good on good on them. Yeah, that's, that's good news. Maybe I'll check out their... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, Their lack of trademark on the new website. Well, maybe we'll go to cosplaysnotconsent.com <laughs> and not the parent website. <laughs> so that's the news, everyone. Thank you all very much. We'll see you next week.